Hey, what's up guys? This is Jack coming back in another video. This one's going to be a very special video as this is going to be one of my first few um, PC update build type things, I guess you could say. So we're currently at Micro Center. Don't know if you can see that, but we're at Micro Center. I got some upgrades for my PC because my bro just got his own PC. So we're decking him out with stuff and then I'm gonna just get some upgrades for mine so that way I can help him with just getting him started with his stuff. So and what we got is pretty, pretty dope. I'll show you when we get home because that's what this video is about. Installing it, setting it up, making sure it works and just, you know, kind of hoping that that'll run smoothly and safely. So can't wait for it to install, hoping that it'll all be all right, but yeah. We'll see what happens when we get home. All right, so we're back home. It's a bit later than I thought I'd be doing this. We had a lot of stuff going on today, so we just kind of ran in, got the stuff, and then had a little bit of chill time, I guess you could say. But now we're just kind of hanging out, having a decent time of just enjoying, you know, the just peace and quiet of just being home after a busy day, I guess. And now I have the time to work on this. And what I am working on is the update for what I'm installing. So I need to do a BIOS update on the monitor, which is basically like the software update for your motherboard, basically. Like every component on PC has its own update, I guess you could say. And the motherboard has its own specific one called the BIOS update. And that's what I need to do because I'm upgrading something on that that requires it. And I spent literally like two hours on the phone with the company that I got my PC from because the motherboard that they have in this PC literally is not found anywhere in market or online. Like it's custom built from the manufacturer. So there literally is no way to find it unless you go to the person or the company that built your PC, which I did. And thankfully they gave me the, um, way to get it because with bios updates every motherboard is has its own specific one and for this motherboard i don't know if you guys have an i buy power pc but that one was specific it's called the b360m ib-r1 literally found nowhere even as rock the motherboard company doesn't even have it listed on their website and it's kind of weird but they do have an alternate motherboard that is basically the same thing that will hold the same updates for the motherboard that I have with me. And that's what I'm gonna be installing. So let's get into that. Okay, so I have a ton of explaining to do because this is a few days after I first tried to install the BIOS update. And what happened was, is the motherboard that I have is literally an off-brand motherboard. So it's an adaptation of the one that is actually in stores. And so what happened then is I had to call the um, tech support for my specific computer to get me the specific information I needed and unfortunately they were closed the weekend on the weekend so literally the day that I up my, I did my last video was Friday and I called them about it and I was given the wrong information and then I couldn't do anything for two days because they weren't open for two days so here I am today on a Monday I just called them they just helped me for like five minutes this lady was the most helpful person I have ever talked to at that service and I was not held on like a three hour freaking wait line to just get it done. So I was super happy about that. So to all the people at iBuyPower, I just wanna say thank you so much for your support and just helping me with this small thing, especially since I didn't know that this was an off-branded motherboard or an adaptive motherboard. So I wanna say thank you so much. And it is updated, heck yeah, boys. So before this number was at 1.10, now it is at 4.01 so the fact that that worked is amazing because now what we can do is we can do two freaking amazing things which is what i've been wanting to do for like a 
couple years now. And one of them, and one of the most important things I want to do, is update this guy. That's right, this is an Intel i7 processor. And the second thing that actually came on with this thing is this guy. Uh, I don't know if y'all can read that. Oh, it's upside down. A freaking course it is. This is the Elgato 4K 60 frame capture card. Now, to some of you know that I stream, I use a HD 60S capture card. Don't get me wrong. I love HD. I play Xbox and PC in HD. But the quality sometimes can be mixed up and really bad in some streams if it's not a Wi-Fi problem. So that's why I got this 4K game capture card because what this allows me to do is, yes, I can stream in 4K now, but if I wanted to, I could switch back to HD in all of its qualities and I have access to higher qualities all the way up to 4K, which is amazing because if 4K is really straining my PC, I don't have to worry about that because I can switch back to my old settings and my old capture card. But my old capture card is going to be somewhere else. I don't need it anymore because it's all in this guy. What I need to do is I only need like 30 minutes just to redo just a small thing in my computer. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today with this new Intel and this new capture card. And the next step with that being we're going to install it right now. So let's get on it. All right, here we go. So this is the PC that I have. And it is a pretty nice one too. You can obviously see my camera is being filmed on a freaking chandelier just because I don't have any other place to put it for a task like this. But, you know, we still have it open like this. We still have the opportunity to do something around this type of a measure and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I already removed the, um, the PC um, tempered glass, which is good. Because now what we can do is we can look and, and look at this guy and just take this guy out first. And in order to do that, we need to first unplug the fan controller, which is right there. I'll need to remember that for later, but I have footage, thankfully. And we just need to open this guy up. Should be off. And boom. What do we have here? So this is the cooler that I have. It is a deep cool, apparently. I have never actually taken this off, and I did not build this. But this is a lot of thermal paste, and that is also a lot of thermal paste on the Intel i5. So what we're going to do is we are going to go grab some wipes and wipe it off, because hopefully we don't need too much. All right, so as you can see, I just did... The thermal paste off of this guy did not require much. I just needed to use a basic paper towel. This standard bounty. Nothing too expensive. Just, you know, your standard at-home paper towel that you just wash off normally. And what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to just go open up this guy and take it out. So that way I can wash it nice and neat. Done. Wow, this guy is firm. Holy moly. That is a ton of chips right there, guys. Like, holy moly. So it was on like this before, which is nuts. Because I can't believe that this freaking thing was on here. But, wow, holy moly. That's insane that this was running my computer for like the longest time. Literally last summer when I got this thing, it was a beast. Like, literally just got it out of the box. I played some Minecraft and I played some Terraria with Elite Dangerous on there also. And this freaking thing just ran it, which is a beast. And speaking of, it's time. So, we're just gonna nice and neatly open this bad boy up. So there we go. This is the i7 9th gen. Taking it out of the box. Placing it down. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be very careful with this i5 and we're going to place it in this box as well. Nice and neatly fits inside and done. So we have the i5 
if we need to install it later on. But if you guys are planning on installing a new CPU, I highly suggest that you put it in the box that you got the new one from, because this is the only way that this will stay in like pristine condition. You don't want to put it in like anything Ziploc or where air can get in because that'll ruin the quality that it has. Here we go. Nice wiggle. So it fits. Thank the Lord. Now we just need to put this guy on. So here we go. Okay. I was a bit nervous there because this guy literally was just applied a ton of pressure. And I was just like, oh shoot, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> so, but no, I'm not. And thankfully it is nice and snug on there. So all hopes aside that it works. <laughs> but now we have our thermal paste and there's many ways you can do it. I've heard that you just need a small rice grain. I've also heard that you need just, you know, put a line down the middle. And I honestly wanna make sure that I'm doing this right because this is something I've never done before but this is probably gonna be the first of many times I install something like this. So what I've heard from Linus Tech Tips, you can look up how to install a brand new computer processor. He has a video on it. He told me for new Intel people with this type of a core, just make a simple straight line down the middle for the best coverage of thermal paste. We need to just draw a basic line. Like so. I don't know if that's a lot or if that's a little, but I do know that that should be enough. And what we need to do next is we need to put this away because we're done with this. And we are going to put this guy back on now. Two hours later. All right, we just placed the sticker on the front of my PC. It is an Intel i7 9th gen. Shout out to you, Harrison and emily for literally helping me out this thing was the thing that fell out back here this is the base plate that the fan this blue one right here screws into so the reason why i needed them is because it required pressure to put the screws in which kind of sucked but not really anyways now that we're at this step the eye processor is completed so now we're gonna turn this thing off again re basically redo all that unplug everything but put that guy in now and hopefully that should be fine Okay, so now we are installing the capture card. So you can see way down there, that is my Elgato 1080p capture card, which is right there. So what we're doing now is we are gonna get this 4K capture card out and make it work. Popped right out. That's all it was. I told you there was no lock. This thing does look a bit bigger, so. I don't think that would work with this guy. Nope. So we gotta break it down here. Popped it right in. There we go. Hand me, hand me that one. I'm just gonna go put it in right now. Okay. There you go. Here's gonna go put his ears in. Be very careful. Huh? Boom. Ladies and gents, this upgrade process has been complete. We now have a. 4K capture card video down here. We got our GeForce GTX. The PC is done. And we got my pupper just chilling out here. Hey, you wanna say hi to the camera? You wanna say hi? Hi. Yeah. They want it, they want you to pet her. <laughs> Alrighty, well we are back now and we are basically done with everything. Like that was literally the quickest install I've ever done. This is all just the extra stuff that we got from the install. And now, we are just plugging and playing. So what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna bring you up, if that'll work. Or we're just gonna slide this bad boy in back there. And there we go. Now, we start plugging in devices. Which is the least favorite part of doing this because you'll see why I hate doing this in a sec. All right, so here's my constant struggle with this. I have all of these cords that I have to re-plug in to this guy and re-find. Sorry if it's in the wrong angle, but 
I gotta refind all of these things. So I gotta find the HDMI for this guy, the HDMI for this guy, the HDMI for this guy, and the HDMI for the main computer itself. And then I need to plug in all the USBs, need to plug in the power, need to plug in all that crap. So this should be more or less fun, but not really. <laughs> I don't like this part, but you know, once it's done, we have a PC. So let's just see this thing happen. All right, so in order for me to actually be able to run this, which is, this is the 4K capture that I have, in order to run that, you need to have some software, which is all of the things that'll make it run. See, like this, that's the capture settings. And all of these are amazing, but I need this guy which will allow me to do 4K. And it's basically just like a capture card software. It's not really anything big. It's just something to where I can actually see and use the 4K video card. Alrighty, so the capture card was just installed, all right? Like legit installed. And I'm pretty freaking happy about it because it looks nuts. I mean, I'm not gonna freaking lie. It looks nuts when you look at the clips and stuff of what's going on. So here's what it looks like. Just normal HD of just the Xbox home screen. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I'm not saying it's like going to be ultra high quality. But it doesn't look bad. And then you look over here. Oh, man. This looks pretty insane. Like, oh, my word. I freaking love this. You guys may not see how good the quality is, but that's what I'm about to say next, all right? On the side screen right here are gonna be images of all of the places that you can find me everywhere else because I'm gonna be posting a lot of game clips here pretty soon about what the heck is actually gonna happen with the capture card. So we have HD clips already with tons of them. But now that we have a capture card, it's going to look even better. Like, legit, a hundred times better. And I'm really happy that it's actually going to look like that. So, check these links out, or check these things in the sides. If you want to go see where it actually looks good, you can follow Twitch, Clutch.Win, and Twitter, where all my um, posts will be up. But, yeah, other than that, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching my setup video of just how we actually went in and set up the capture card and the intel processor because now our computer is so much math and so much faster it's absolutely nuts so i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed that especially if you guys had some tips and tricks that you just learned about so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll probably do more of these videos in the future but that was the biggest first one that I had today, and hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace!